the basics of writing a literature review. If you're writing a research proposal, you probably already have a pretty good idea about what you plan to do in your research. But when it comes to putting together the lit review, all that information can seem overwhelming. This tutorial will help you break down the purpose and focus of this section a little bit more clearly. So hang on. Before you even start writing, you need to think a little more about what we need a literature review for and how it works. Consider these basic questions as you start gathering your research articles. First of all, what does a review of existing literature tell us? What doesn't it tell us? How does the existing research inform your proposed research? Are there any patterns or trends or limitations to the studies that you've found? And what does your proposed research offer that the existing research is lacking? Basically, we're answering the question, what do we already know? And going one step further to what don't we know? And that is where your research study will add to the body of knowledge. As you gather your research articles, think about how the information all fits together. You want to think in terms of relationships. Look for the common denominators or similarities, but also look for those points of disagreement. What themes seem to be arising in the studies you've reviewed? You might consider the various hypotheses and findings as well as sample populations and goals. Are there any significant differences in the methodologies that the different studies chose? Could these have an impact on the findings or generalizability of the studies? You might also consider the order in which each study was published. Did they seem to build on each other? Have there been any breakthroughs in technology or theoretical frameworks over time? Did one study specifically influence another or respond to a previous study? Remember, you're looking for the relationships among the studies that you've gathered and between that existing research and what you plan to do. Part of your responsibility here is also to evaluate these studies. You be the judge and consider not only what the studies had to say, but how they said it and who said it. You might consider the author's credentials. If the articles you have chosen come from peer-reviewed journals, the author's credibility is probably already established. However, occasionally a researcher gets outed for poor practices or manufactured data, so just keep an eye out for that kind of information. Look at the evidence provided in the article and decide whether it supports the researcher's claims. Perhaps the connection is too vague, or maybe it's not logically sound. Are the arguments clearly represented and well-balanced? And you want to look at that both in terms of a single article and how the articles work among each other. Could you replicate the research based on the method provided? Does it seem to be a reasonable method? Does it have any flaws, or do you have any more questions about it? Check out the stated limitations and see if you can identify any others. And connect the findings to the most recent research or your proposed focus. Also consider the validity of the instruments and the methods and theoretical framework. They might be fine, but they also might be outdated or maybe just insufficient for the particular proposal. You don't have to address all of these items in your writing, but you should be thinking about them as you read and prepare for your lit review. All of this can relate to your proposed study in some way. Now it's time to start writing. Before you even start laying out all of that knowledge, though, you need to introduce the topic and consider it in its natural surroundings. You've introduced the basics in your overall introduction to the proposal in general, but the lit review needs a little bit of an, an introduction all of its own. So start by describing or defining your topic clearly. You might give us some context and why does this matter? Point out any trends or gaps in general in the existing research. And again, you want to think about those conflicts. Can you give us a quick overview of any conflicts in methodologies or theories, conclusions, or evidence? Give us a sense of the criteria you used in reviewing the articles. And you might give us an overview of the scope of your research and the articles that you looked at. Are we going back 5 years, 10 years, 50 years? And is it something that's local or maybe it's contained in the United States or maybe it's global? Now that the introduction is taken care of, you're getting into the meat of the literature review. It's time to take all of that information you've gathered and put it to work. But now how do you decide what to include in your writing? 
That's a really good question. You need to decide what part of the existing research is actually important or connected to the research you want to do. So let's look at the basic parts of a study to decide what information we might share in the lit review. Let's start by looking at the purpose of the study. What was the hypothesis for this study? And why was it important? What impact did this study have on the field? And was the study successful? Remember to explain in some way how the purpose of this study relates to your proposal. Another element to consider when you're evaluating a study for your review is the sample population that the researchers chose. Consider how big or small the sample was. The descriptors can be important too. Consider what characteristics were highlighted in the sample population and look closely at the method of selection. What does that tell you about the overall impact of the study? If the researchers used a truly random selection method or a purposive method, how could that have influenced their findings or the generalizability of their study? Take a look at the methods in general. Are they acceptable or are they outdated? Are they similar to yours? Are they comparable to other methods in the other studies you've looked at? Are they using effective instruments? And are the theories behind the methods comparable to the other theories you've encountered? Finally, read the discussion and conclusion sections carefully. This is where the researchers sum up the importance of their study and make some recommendations for further studies or policy implementation or even other uses of their findings. This is a key section that will help you better understand the bigger picture and tell us how this study informs, supports, or makes your research necessary. I know, that's a lot to think about. But research is important and a thorough understanding of the existing body of knowledge adds thrust and credibility to your proposed research. And now that you have reviewed several studies related to your research, how in the world are you going to organize all of that information? Remember what you started looking for earlier? Take those three primary issues and consider the overall findings. One of the best ways to organize your information is thematically. Look for those common threads in the research. Perhaps different studies drew similar conclusions, or at least related conclusions. Maybe they look for the same kind of information. Remember, a paragraph can discuss multiple studies if it revolves around the same theme. And what about methodology? That's another way of arranging the information. Maybe the way the studies were conducted led to a significant difference in their findings. If the evolution of ideas or theories is the primary focus, you might arrange your information chronologically. However you decide to arrange the information, just make sure that your paragraphs are cohesive and make sense. There are some do's and don'ts when it comes to writing liter a literature review, so let's start with the do's. Do summarize the important elements of each article or source. Do cite your sources appropriately throughout your lit review. And do discuss the relationship between different articles and between those articles in your focus and do point out any contributions, maybe stages in development, or flaws in the literature that you've found. We've looked at the do's, so now let's take a quick look at a few don'ts. Don't summarize every single piece of your article. Remember, pick the important parts. Don't put your citation at the end of the paragraph to cite everything in it. Don't treat your lit review like a list or annotated bibliography. It's a narrative. And don't under or overestimate the significance of the differences between the articles and your research. Keep it real and think about the validity of what you're hoping to do and how that will find its place in the overall body of knowledge. Let's take a closer look at how you incorporate information and cite it in your review. Sometimes students have a tendency to take one study and just summarize everything in it, then drop its citation at the end of the paragraph. The APA strongly discourages this approach because it can lead to a lot of confusion. Look at this example. The writer starts with a vague reference to research, but whose research is it? 
The second sentence has no citation at all, and because we're not sure who composed the research in the preceding sentence, we're not sure this is even the same study. And finally, we don't even get a citation until the very end of the paragraph, and we have to wonder if the whole paragraph doesn't belong to Jones or somebody else. So let's try it again. Notice how this example references the source right at the start. And because we've introduced that source up front, it's easier to see that the subsequent information is coming from the same study. We've got that same second sentence here. Some dogs, however, showed an affinity for pet rats. But because we named the source in the beginning, that sentence seems to flow and make sense. We're not trying to attach it to some vague research out there that could be a whole bunch of other research. And the writer also reminds us later in the paragraph that they're still talking about Jones. So we can read this paragraph and feel pretty comfortable that we know what information came from the source and how it all fits together. This writer was very specific and walked us through the information clearly. One way to make your discussion of the existing research flow is to introduce information with different signal phrases and verbs. You might start a sentence with according to so and so, but you don't want to do that all the time. There are a lot of other ways to introduce that information. So here are some signal verbs that can help you make your lit review flow a little bit better. When it comes to the researcher's argument or recommendations, you usually use the present tense. Like in this example, Jones argues that dogs prefer cats because cats are less needy. But when you're talking about anything that actually occurred during the course of the study, you use the past tense. In this case, Jones, 2010, found that dogs preferred cats over rats 9 to 1. That's a statistic that they discovered during the course of the study. To sum it all up, don't think of your lit review as an annotated bibliography where you simply summarize each article and put them in a line. The lit review is there to support your proposed research or your thesis. So think of each source as part of a bigger puzzle that you hope to solve. Start by looking at what contributions each article has made to the question at hand and to the body of knowledge. It's important to set the stage. Then look for contradictions because that can lay the groundwork for your own research. And be sure to look for gaps in the research. If there's a question that is still unanswered or insufficiently covered, that leaves room for you to really add something new to the body of knowledge. And don't forget to relate all this information back to your research and what you plan to do. And remember, this is a narrative. You're telling us basically the story of what the knowledge already is and how you're going to add something new to it. And there you have it, the basics of writing a lit review.